I think we all were hoping by now we'd find Rebecca outside digging around the garden. Not quite yet. The weather has her inside, but she's always getting creative. She's cooking up some ideas for kitchen cleanup with a special guest helper. It's been a long time since you've been on TV. Can you tell everybody where you've been? At home playing. Taking care of? Lulu. Lulu? How's Lulu doing? Good. Good. Well, is it time to do some crafts today? Yeah. What are we going to do? Do you know? Make pillows. Make pillows or maybe, maybe we're going Cross? to, yeah, we're going to make dish towels so we can clean the kitchen. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. You want to clean my kitchen? This is a granddaughter that we all love. She loves to clean. For this project, you need flour sack towels, which you can pick up at any home goods store or fleet farm, acrylic paint, sponge brushes, stencils, rubber stamps, or an artistic hand, masking tape, and a fine tip sharpie if you wish to monogram or personalize. First of all, tape down the towel with masking tape and pull it taut. If you're worried about paint running through the fabric, just lay down a piece of paper toweling or cardboard. Love it. Well, here's the deal. You get to pick out which one we're going to do. So we have stencils here. So what you need to do is pick out which which little design you like. And I'm going to let oh, you pineapple. I like this. Oh, what is that? The flamingo. That's a flamingo. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, it is a flamingo. <laughs> So this DIY project is super easy, it's fun, and it's a great way to personalize gifts, either to keep for yourself or to give away as gifts. Maybe a good idea, huh? Mm, yeah. Okay. And let's tape this down because we do not want this to move because you know what happens if it moves? The paint will get all over and it won't look like flamingos. <laughs> what color would you like the flamingo? Um, the color. Pinks? Yeah. Okay, well, that hot pink. Because flamingos is hot pink. Flamingos are hot pink? Yes. But now, and what you're going to do is you're going to brush it on like this. Oh. And remember where pink is. But hold down the stencil and then just brush it in like that. Okay. Okay, I'll hold it down while you brush, brush, brush. And you don't need a lot. So let's, yeah, start over there and don't put a lot. We want it really super light. So very quickly, there you go, baby. Now, if your paint's too thick, you can add a little water to loosen it, but you really want to put this on you light. Mine is done. I think it's done too. All right. Now, another option, if you have rubber stamps, just pick out your favorite and then paint with a brush the top of the stamp. I like this one because, of course, it's dog paws. Okay. Okay, just what, don't wiggle it just one time. Okay, pull it up. Pull it up quick. Oh, nice. <gasps> so the step-by-step -step instructions are on the website if you'd like to look at those. I'm Rebecca Coles with... Quincy. Croy. Croy. For WCCO. <laughs> for News. I think we have a future reporter. Oh, that was cute. Good stuff. Well, you can follow Rebecca on Instagram for more DIY ideas like this. Easy to find her. Rebecca Coles, just search it, Riley. Very cute. Yeah.